Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming to our session. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming to our session. Uh, my student, Fahana, and I will be presenting a paper uh, entitled Biden's America and the Image of Bangladesh U.S. Thai from the Bangladesh Media Perspective and Exploratory Study. Uh, Fahana is in the first semester of a PhD candidature. We are from Center for Research on Media and Communication, Faculty of Social Sciences and Humanities, the National U University of Malaysia. Fahana, the floor is yours. Thank you, Dr. Jem. Uh, good day, everyone. As Dr. Jem was mentioning, that we are doing this study on the base of Bangladeshi media experts' perspective, whether uh, as ever since uh, Biden as administration has taken over, are we expecting any change? So I would like to start the presentation with one of the most prominent media expert of Bangladesh from Channel 24, Moshid Hasib. It's high time Bangladesh takes a standpoint in Indo-Pacific strategy, IPS, and takes strategic decision without offending any of its friends that can contradict with the main foreign policy followed by Bangladesh. Friendship towards all, malice towards nothing, malice towards none. As of now, Bangladesh has maintained its relationship with each of the country that has its tie with, be it US, China, Japan, or India. But uh, as we can see, there is a tension growing on between US and China. Bangladesh has already uh, joined China-led BRI, Built and Road Initiative. And Bangladesh has just joined the Indo-Pacific Strategy, IPS, led by US. So there can be a change in a clash of interest between the bi bilateral relationship with Bangladesh and China or Bangladesh and I US. Due to its uh, geographical position, Bangladesh plays a very important role in IPS. So why we are doing this study? Uh, from October 2020 to February 2021, we see two very important visit. One is uh, from deputy, uh, former deputy state secretary's visit to Bangladesh in October 2020, which was misled as uh, the election, uh, upcoming election, but it was not. It was all about IPS. And the next one was our foreign minister's visit to Washington and his meeting with the present state secretary. So are we expecting any change from former uh, administration to present administration on uh, issues, policies, commitments, or anything? Our media experts are trying to explore uh, whether the attitude towards the US-Bangladesh relationship and its relationship to Indo-Pacific strategy changes or not. And this is what is our study. We we have uh, used political rhetoric for this study, and I have taken uh, FGD. Uh, we have conducted FGD uh, with the six most prominent media experts of Bangladesh. We have conducted uh, content analysis as well, consisting 40 news articles from seven most prominent newspaper or TV channels of Bangladesh. As I have said, we are using political rhetoric. And what is political rhetoric? The speeches used or uh, the approaches used by uh, the media experts, but the politicians, the political leaders or government to convince and persuade their audience. Who are the audience? It can be the media experts. It can be um, other governments. It can be mass people. So as we know, the rhetoric has three devices, pathos, logos, and ethos. So the speeches uh, or the reports, the media experts or the political re readers using, are they successful to connect us emotionally? Uh, do they know where do uh, what attracts us most? Are the uh, data they're using reliable and credible enough? Do they have logics and statistics behind those reports and the speeches? Our media experts are trying to explore that, whether the Bangladesh-US tie, is it symbi symbiotic relationship or just we can expect a negative impact on the tie? 
as you can see, I have divided it into three parts. The, we have speakers, we have purposes and audience. When Biden's administration is the speaker and they are talking to Bangladeshi government, they are to convince, they are trying to convince the Bangladesh that Bangladesh is very important and it is logically very important due to the its geographical position in IPS. On the other hand, when Bangladeshi government is speaking to Biden's administration, they are promising that the friendship will continue and strengthen with time only. But Bangladesh has may, uh, very specifically uh, claimed their position. They have said their position. They are, are joining IPS due to trend and economy. They are not interested at all to join the security alliances. When, on the other hand, when Bangladeshi media is speaking to the mass people officially through their reports, uh, whether it's uh, in TV channel or in newspaper, they are saying that they are they are seeing progress in trade and foreign policy. But unofficially, when we had the FGD, they were saying it is nothing but a strategical political approach by both the governments. So from the data analysis of FGD, we have uh, seen, I have divided into uh, the vehicles of rhetoric ethos, logos, and pathos. As uh, we can see, the reporters or media experts, they are saying that, no, even though we are expecting a lot from Biden's uh, administration, but there cannot be, there might not be a lot of change or differences uh, comparing to Trump's period. At the same time, during the visit of our foreign minister to Washington, Biden's administration has promise that they will be restoring GSP, generalized system of preferences for which the trades will jump higher. And at the same time, they are joining uh, climate change, so which will affect Bangladesh, of course, definitely in a positive way. And Biden's administration has also promised that they will help us in Rohingya crisis. They, I don't see uh, much of differences uh, in content analysis, uh, it's the same thing. Both the governments are looking forward to the friendship, the, the trades and uh, economy will go higher. And Bangladesh uh, being the global leader of RMG, they are expecting uh, a lot from the tie of US-Bangladesh. But at the same time, there is a clash of interest or there could arise a clash of interest between Bangladesh, US Thai and Bangladesh, China Thai because of the Indo-Pacific strategy and Belt Road Initiative. Why I was repeating Indo-Pacific strategy and uh, Belt Road Initiative just to show you the position of Bangladesh. I have put this map, you can have a look on it. While concluding the presentation and the study, um, I would like to uh, say that our media experts, they are not seeing it in a uh, very positive way. They are saying that it could be just a, uh, just another American global hegemony. They are saying that reverse foreign policy by Biden's administration is seen as rhetorical by Bangladeshi, as rhetorical. And since Biden's administration has taken over, definitely, uh, as of now, they will be trying to be helpful to each of the country, and Bangladesh is not an exception. I will be handing it over to Dr. Jim now. Uh, Dr. Jim. Uh, thank you very much, Fahana. Uh, we would um, uh, accept uh, questions and suggestions. Uh, please do so because your comments will help Fahana to improve on her research. Thank you very much. We can be contacted at the email uh, stated on the slide. Uh, thank you.